everyone, my name is Tori, this is Nova Life, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my November TBR to share with you, and yes, I'm gonna say this, I can't believe this is my second to last TBR for 2023. I feel like this year has been so great, but also so busy, and time has literally just flown by. And yes, I've read so many good books so far this year, but I hope that some of these books in the November TBR are gonna be some of my like favorite, favorite books of the year. We'll see, we'll see. But with all that being said, let's just go ahead and jump right in. The first two books I'm gonna talk about are two books that my patrons pick. So every single month I do an exclusive reading vlog for them where I give them five options and the top two, the, so the top two most voted on books, are the two books that I'm gonna read in an exclusive reading vlog for them. So, so the first book that they picked was Salt Kiss by Sierra Simone. So I read Salt in the Wound August, September this year and I did enjoy it. It was a really good introduction to this world considering this world I feel like is gonna be very intricate. I think there's gonna be three full length books and then Sierra Simone has that novella, The Salt in the Wound. I suggest reading Salt in the Wound first. I don't know, I've heard people who've read this book say that you probably should read it, but with all that being said, I'm very excited to continue on with this story. It's a Tristan and Isolde retelling, and then they have a Mark who is like another part of this. I think it's MFM, MMF. I don't know. Polyamorous Sierra Simone. All of her books make me think, and I really, really love that. So I'm super, super excited to get to this one. I'm going to be thoroughly shocked if I don't like this book. Like, if I don't like this book, I think something's personally wrong with me, okay? The next book my patrons picked are Tempt Our Fate by Kat Singleton. So I actually received this book as a PR package in a PR package, which I was thoroughly surprised that this showed up because I was not expecting to be on Kat Singleton's like PR list at all. But this book has two overlays in it at the beginning of the book and it comes with like all this super cute swag. She's a baker, he's a billionaire, he comes to the super small town and I think they're kind of like enemies to lovers. I don't know, I just think this sounds so good and I'm so happy that this was the second book that won. This was going back and forth with Elizabeth O'Rourke's new book, The Fall of Bradley Reed. So I may still read that one, but this one I am really, really excited to read. I've been loving billionaires, especially billionaires in small town. So I have really high hopes for this one too. He opens up an art gallery next door to her bakery. So I'm assuming there's gonna be some bakery shenanigans and I'm thoroughly excited for that. So these two books I will be reading for an exclusive reading vlog over on my Patreon. You can join at the Support of Sunflower or Dedicated Dandelion level and you will see this vlog. I do post an exclusive video every week and I do reading sprints every week when I'm not traveling. Cover to cover book club, we have not picked a book yet so we will post when we have one. Now I do know there are a lot of new releases coming out towards the end of October, beginning of November and I'm gonna mention those really quickly just right off the top of my head that I really do wanna get to. So Saffron Kent actually has a new book. It's called You Beautiful Thing, You, and I actually received an arc of this, so I do hope to read it before it comes out on the 29th. I hope to get to it, but I do have a couple arcs before then that I have to get to, like, for example, The Worst Kept Secret by QB Tyler. This book comes out November 2nd. This just landed on my Kindle, and I am so excited for it. I am so excited for this new QB Tyler release. Like, She's been hyping it up and I just know it's gonna be great. So I'm so excited to dive into it. I'm actually going to Love in Vegas, which when you're seeing this, I should be coming home or I should be in Vegas. I'm pre-filming a little bit, but I do hope to read this on the plane. So I don't know if this one's gonna be on my October wrap up or if I'm gonna have to wait to finish it in November, depending on how busy I am, but I'm super excited for that one. I do know JLA has a new book coming out on October 31st that I hope to get to. I don't know if I'm gonna get to it. It's the third book in the prequel uh, Flesh and Fire series. So that one's not my favorite series, so I may have to wait on that one. It depends on like if the mood strikes for me to pick it up. I am extremely excited because L. Kennedy is having the Graham effect come out on the 31st as well. I probably won't read it on the 31st. That'll definitely be a November book that I'm ex super excited for just to see what this like new generation of the off-campus series is like. So that's gonna be like a testing thing to see how if I like it or not. So I'm very excited for that one too. Of course, one of my favorite authors, Lauren Asher is coming out with a book on November 7th, Loved Redesigned, which the purple cover is absolutely amazing. I cannot wait. I've just, she's been teasing it like ever so slightly and I am currently dying on the inside. I oh, am so excited to read it. I cannot wait for that book to come out. It's, it's been one that I've been waiting for four months and it's finally here, it's finally here. Of course, on November 7th as well, Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros is coming out with um, the second book in the, what is it called? Mm, 
I forgot the name of the series, but it's the sequel to Fourth Wing, which you guys know I love Fourth Wing. I read it this year. I really, really enjoyed it. I do want to reread Fourth Wing. I might annotate that. Um, you guys saw I did an annotate with me video last week. So if you would like to see another annotating video, because I actually had a really fun time doing that. If you would love to see an annotate with me video for Fourth Wing, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, yeah. Just let me know because I'm really excited to reread that one. I think that is all the new releases coming out. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I do know uh, Laura Pavlov has a new book coming out. I don't know if I'm going to get to that one because I haven't caught up with it. I know I said I wanted to mood read in October. That did not happen. With all the new releases, I really tried hard to stick with that new release schedule so I could stay caught up with stuff. Um, I do want to do a worth the hype video for the second week of November with some of the end of October releases. So that is my goal to do that. Um, like I said, I have a lot of reading to do. Will it get done? I don't know. Now, some new releases from October I did not get to is The Problem with Dating by Brittany Cherry. I do want to read that one. Love Me by Tiffany Patterson. I definitely want to read that one. That is the follow-up book to Trust Me by Tiffany Patterson. It follows a different couple, but in the same world. I do want to read Madame by Sarah Kate, and I definitely want to read Tell me what you want by Lucia Franco. So those are just some new releases from October that I did not get to. But to be 100% honest, I'm in a fantasy mood, okay? I'm in a huge fantasy mood and I want to read this bad boy, which is A Fallen Stars by Imani Iru. This is the second book in this series. It's the follow-up to Heavenly Bodies. I don't know the name of this series, actually. I really enjoyed Heavenly Bodies. I think the author blends fantasy romance with mythology really, really well. And it creates this like really like breath of fresh air very unique storytelling and I just really fell in love with it so this is a fantasy romance I definitely want to get to I will try and do a reading vlog of fantasy romances in um November that's my goal I hope if you have other really really hyped fantasy romances you want to want me to read drop them in the comments down below I definitely want to read Divine Rivals I've heard some amazing things and I've heard some not so good things so let me know in the comments um if I read this book with Divine Rivals what is another fantasy romance you would love me to read I would love to know in the comments down below but this is a thick thick boy and I'm very excited to get to it I just want to like savor it. I want to dive in and savor it. That's what I want to do. So the next book is a reread and that's Keeping 13 by Chloe Walsh. Like I said previously in that annotate with me video, I did Binding 13. I annotated it. I'm going to be highlighting and tabbing this book as well. I'm just really getting into annotating more and more and more. Like I've always done it, but I haven't done it as much as I'd want it to. So I definitely want to highlight and tab this book up because this is very, very heartbreaking. And I think in the end of November, beginning of December, I'm going to be reading Saving Six and Redeeming Six again. I'm doing a read along with some other friends here on booktube for this Boys of Toman series. If you're watching this video, our live show for Binding and Keeping 13 got moved to November 5th at 5 p.m. on my channel. So yeah, we're definitely gonna read this and discuss it. And I'm very excited. So you can come join us. You still have time. I love Johnny and Shannon so fucking much. Like, I don't know how anyone could not love them. You know what I mean? Now, the last one I want to read is kind of like a thriller, spooky teen book that I've had on my shelf for a while. And that's Dark and Shallow Lives by Ginny Mears Sane. So this actually takes place in a small town, Louisiana. It's the worst place to be if you've had something to hide. So apparently this 17 year old um, spends her summers there. And she's, and it's the self-proclaimed psychic capital of the world. Apparently her best friend disappeared six months earlier. So when a mysterious stranger emerges from the bayou, a stormy great-eyed boy with links to her best friend and the town's bloody history, she realizes that the city's past is far more present and dangerous than she ever understood. It seems just kind of like a spooky-ish fall time read with like a mystery aspect. We're going to try and see if this is what I'm actually in the mood for. I think I'm in the mood for it, but we shall see. So if you've read this, let me know. This is a little bit different book than I normally read, but I'm really excited. My library has the audio for this, so I'm probably going to read and listen to this one. And yeah, I'm really excited. And the last book I want to mention is Stars in Your Eyes by Case and Calendar. So this is another book that I put on my October TBR, but like I said, new releases ruled my life in, Oct in October. So this is one that I've been wanting to get to. If I don't listen to the audiobook the last week in October, I'm going to read this in November because it's one that I've been really, really excited for and I have the audiobook already. I just think this sounds absolutely amazing and so many amazing people have blurbed this book and it just, I want something refreshing and new and just like a breath of fresh air. And I think this book is going to give it to me and make me like feel something. I want to feel something. I want to be like emotionally connected to everyone and all of these characters. So I think this is book is going to give it to me. So let me know in the comments down below what you're reading in November. I do know I might do some Christmas romances at the very end of November. And by very end of November, I literally mean the very end of November because Christmas starts the day after Thanksgiving. I know a lot of people put up their stuff early. I am someone who 
Christmas starts the day after Thanksgiving. That's when I can read all the Christmas shit. So like while I'm putting up my Christmas stuff, I will pop in an audiobook. Do I know what Christmas romances I'm going to read? Absolutely not. I have not gotten that far, okay? Okay, I need to get through fall and Thanksgiving. So with all that being said, drop me some fall leaves in the comments down below. That's the emoji for this video because November is all about fall and Thanksgiving. Leaves changing here more so at the beginning of November, which I love seeing where I live. So drop me some fall leave emojis in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content for me. As always, I hope you're living a novel life and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.